Lesson number one, claim your business listing on Google. If you haven't done it already, this is where you need to start. Back in 2014, Google launched Google My Business to help business owners manage their information across all Google services. Claiming your Google business page will help searchers locate and discover your business. It will also automatically add your business information to Google Maps, Google search results, Google Plus, and other Google properties. Once you've claimed your Google My Business page, you will have access to a dashboard which acts as a central place where you can update your business information, add photos, track and respond to online reviews, view data about how people interact with your business, and much more. Having a Google My Business listing is fundamental to any local SEO campaign. Your business simply wouldn't exist if you don't create a Google My Business page for your local business. So, let's have a look at how it's done. Go to Google and search for Google My Business. Click on the result that says free business listings on Google. This should take you to the homepage of Google My Business website. Click on the Start Now button to start creating your listing. If you haven't got a Gmail account, you will need to create one before you can create your business listing. This email address will be used to make any further modification to your business profile moving forward, so make sure it is safe. Before we can continue, there is something really important you need to understand. In order to build confidence with search engines, and Google in particular, you must ensure search engines understand exactly who and where your business is. Remember, search engines are computers, and computers are simply machines to which we feed detail and structured information after all. So when search engines are crawling the web, they can and will notice even the slightest variations in a business name, an address, a phone number, and or a website address. These variations can affect the search engine's confidence. With that in mind, uh, let's have a look at an example. Let's imagine your actual business's name, address, and phone number is Davis and Son Plumber, 101 Bishop Road, London, SW65RD0208871-6532. A couple of years ago, you advertised your business on a local website and the sales rep listed your business as follows. Davis and Son Plumber, 101 Bishop Road, London, SW6, 0208 871 6532. Then, not too long ago, you finally verified your business in Google My Business using your actual business details. Because of the differences in the way your business has been listed on Google My Business and the local website where you advertised, search engines may consider both listings as being different businesses which can lower your rankings. So before you start entering your business details, it is important you decide which format you want your name, address, and phone number to be displayed online. If you think this is easy, think again. 50% of small businesses get this wrong. It can be hard to remember what format you have decided to use when you want to list your business details on multiple sites or directories. The simplest way to avoid any mistake is to write down the business details you will be using in a master file. A simple notepad file will do, which you can then dig out every time you want to submit your business details anywhere across the web. Once you're happy with the business details you will be using, you can continue with your Google My Business listing. So, let's go back to it. Enter your business name, the country, the address where your business is located, the postcode, and the main phone number where customers can get in touch. Finally, you need to select the most appropriate category for your business. Picking the right category in Google My Business is critical if you want your business to be displayed for the right searches in Google Maps. Google's guidelines are pretty specific on this subject and state the following. Use as few categories as possible to describe your overall core business. Choose categories that are as specific as possible but representative of your main business. Do not use categories solely as keywords or to describe attributes of your business. In layman's term, it is better to choose something like fresh grocery store 
or organic butchers than something more generic like shop or groceries. The trouble with selecting a, a category in Google My Business is that it uses predictive text technology. If you don't know what I mean, predictive text is what happens when you start searching for something in Google and Google tries to complete it for you. This can make it difficult to find out which categories are the most appropriate one for your listing. As I said, choosing the right categories is super important and using predictive text may lead to picking the wrong ones. However, help is at hand. Open a new window in your browser and head over to the following website. This tool will help you choose the right category for your business. You can find the link in the resource area right below the video. Just type part or all of the category you think your business should be in and select the country and language from the drop-down list. A new window will open and will display Google's existing categories matching that phrase and related synonyms. All you need to do is copy and paste it into the category field of Google My Business. And once you've entered your categories, you can enter your website address in the field below. Final tip, step. This one is for business owners who deliver products and services to customers at their location. If you don't fall into that category, tick the no answer and the submit button. If you do, tick yes and click continue. From there, you will be able to, specif to specify your service area by city, postcode, or by selecting a certain radius where your business is able to operate. You can add multiple cities if you want to. You can't, however, combine a radius and a list of cities at the same time. You should only check the box, I serve customers at my business address, if you want your business address to display on Google and if your business location is staffed and able to receive customers during its stated hours. When, you know, when you're done, click continue. On the next screen, tick the box that says I am authorized to manage this business and I agree to the terms and of services. This will take you to a new page where you can confirm how you want to receive your code verification. Choose the mail option. This will take you to the final screen which will let you know you will receive a code through the mail in about one to two weeks, which actually generally takes about four days. Click continue. You should now be on the dashboard of your very own business listing. This is a place where you can edit your business details, see the reviews people have posted and respond to them, learn about your customers and how they're interacting with your business through insights such as how people found you and where they are coming from, the number of times people found your business and how many of them have asked for directions, etc. Take the time to fill in all required information so your profile is near 100% complete. Be as accurate as possible. Pay particular attention to the photos and opening hours as they will have a huge impact on searches and don't forget to add your website address. Try to complete this task before you receive your verification code so your business listing will be ready to be seen at its best as soon as it is verified. How easy was that? If you're ready, you are now able to move on to video number two.